So how does that work? Someone this, gets into a room a, with yeah, an idea. Yeah, we don't really have a we don't have a system. I mean, we've never wanted to have a an exact way that we do things. I think I think that helps us to keep things fresh. You know, um, that is that hasn't changed really ever. But I think of anything, there's just less material that any one of us brought that was fully formed. You know, we didn't do that very much at all. This record and the songs that we did that they didn't really work out. You know, the the, the material that worked the best were the ones that were so open-ended that like, you know, there's a, there's a song on the record where, you know, Ed had been sort of playing a couple notes on the piano and I was like, that was interesting. And then I took it and played some other notes and Ed kind of had something of a melody and then I wrote lyrics for it and then changed the melody. And then Chris Bear played two other chords on the piano and I recorded those and then that became another section of the song. And like, Chris Taylor came in with an idea for like the percussion arrangement, just like everything came together so, fully with everyone, and it wasn't like a songwriting process, you know, it was like watching something happen slowly over time, and then you don't know what it is until it's done, and then you see what it is when it's done, and you're like, wow, great, amazing, you know, it's, it's, it's always almost like a, yeah, like a process of discovery yeah, through four feels, people, which yeah. I think is more, it's, it's more ideal when you have, definitely more ideal when you have four people that have very strong voices and strong opinions, and everyone wants a sense of, you know, ownership of what you're making, and I think this record, more than anything we've done, has that feeling where I think everyone really came to it in that way, you know. It's, it's rather nice. rare to have four people on the same level and the same line that you have. I wouldn't say we are. I mean, we just, we end up finding that, though, ultimately, you know. Um, I think it's probably to our benefit how, um, how everyone's kind of coming from a different angle or place, you know, and then, and then it's the process of finding that common through line that is really uh, what we're after. And once we found it, then that's usually what the record is, you know. But are you, you are the producer, but are you the sole producer? Because you do everything with the four of you, I would say. Everyone chimes in, jumps you in. You know, the, the, the definition of producer is, you know, is uh, it depends upon how you want to take it. Um, so, just know. being the guy behind the desk. It's being the guy that's there the whole time, um, and trying to coordinate everyone's en yeah. efforts. You know. And it's also, I feel like you put Chris has a way of like pushing. Well, not only obviously contributing like major sound ideas and like general like larger picture ideas about what we're doing. I think Chris also is really good at like bringing out performances and encouraging us to do stuff that we wouldn't do. Definitely. I know for myself like I the way Chris works with me I feel like I would never the performances that come out I would not ever be able to do on my own if, it, if he was not telling me to like try something more interesting. Like, really, it's true. It's true, though. I feel like I came, there were things I came in for this record, I was like, how about this? And you're like, that's not good enough. <laughs> and just start over again, which is frustrating, but it's great. Like, that's, it's that's, cool. that's a big part, I think, of what it's cool makes to hear Chris that. a great producer. It's like, cool to hear that. That's like, that's because that's the most exciting thing when you hear someone do something that is a little bit strange for them and you watch them pull it off. It's like watching a kid ride the bike for the first time, you know? You're like, like, go for it, and then you see it work, and you're like, wow, it's a beautiful thing. It's such right. a beautiful thing to, to witness, and it's, it's the thrill of being able to witness that that really keep, keeps me doing it, you know? Is there an example of something we hear on this record you didn't think Daniel would make, or <laughs> the other way around? That, yeah. that song, that song you were just talking what? about. Oh, yeah. Uh, was, which uh, is? It's the last song on the record. Yeah. It's something that we didn't know. I would, he was... <laughs> Well, I mean, I really wanted it to work. It was just really daunting. It's it was just, like, it could not, I could not fathom it actually coming off in a way that made sense. I wouldn't let it go, though. Every yeah. day, I feel like we'd, we'd hang out and, and, uh, and I'd just like, kind of bring it up at some point during the day. And like, and then that one song, I mean, what's yeah. up with that? Yeah. Like, I don't know. I think I sort of got something. I'm like, well, you know, because if you did figure out something, it would be right. really cool. And I, got, I remember harping on that incessantly. And I'm, I was, I was just so excited to hear what would happen if, you know, 
the right idea mm -hmm. fell into place and what it could become. And it, you know, and it became my favorite song on the record. You have to explain what it sounds like. What, what's the special thing about it? Oh yeah, you haven't even heard the record. I have. Oh, you have. Oh, okay. But the people the are camera. looking haven't. Some people, some of the interviews haven't actually heard. <laughs> what does that song sound like? Um, and what, what what makes it special? What makes it different? Why are we talking it's about? It's just it? a very. It was a. Pretty ambitious. It's, I mean, the things like yeah. how long is it? It's seven minutes long. Seven minutes long. It has. It, it, has it really runs the gamut from like very movements. big pop choruses to like the most minimal, spacious, empty, almost meditative points of the whole record in, in the song. And it was, yeah. you know, it was meant to really feel like a journey of a song that really takes you somewhere. But. It was kind of like, it, it was funny, it was, I couldn't, I, there was a big problem with that song is it was, it is, it's long in this way that I felt like it couldn't be any shorter than it is, but it's, it's not, it wasn't meant to be boring or draw, draw on in a way, but I just knew that it couldn't get, it couldn't be cut down, otherwise the impact of it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. It had to, it had to have these huge, you know, almost like pop chorus moments or something, and it had to have these moments that were so still and quiet and peaceful, and if you don't have both those extremes, it doesn't make sense, and Figuring out how to make that work in a way that was engaging was really hard and took a lot. Took Chris and I some time to figure that out. <laughs> took, it took, it took a long time to figure that out. And we figured it out at the very last second last, pretty last much. And, which is great. That's always, that's always, I feel like we've had a song like that on each record that's like the thing that happens at the very end. You're it's like, wow, I can't, I can't believe that actually worked. You, you, and, yeah, it's, there's always one, and, I, and I, I said it every time and it happens every time. There's always one song that like, pulls out at the very, very last minute when you just think it's never going to happen and then it ends up being your favorite song on the record. And it's so cool, you can almost like set your watch by it. It happens almost every record I've done. Mm. And it's the coolest part. It's the part that like leaves that really sweet taste of, of, of a kind of, of a kind of, uh, f just a fresh, a freshness. Mm -hmm. and, then the, and then that's how it all ends and then you're like, that feels so nice. So it couldn't be anywhere else than in, at the end of the record. Sometimes, yeah, your favorite mm -hmm. song happens at the end. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah.